This is the full version video of Sea Lion Caves on the Oregon coast. We'd also like to thank you for watching the trailer. Please enjoy. down to the viewing area down by the ocean down below there where the people are standing and right now the sea lions are outside the cave they're looking down at them if you go into the cave you go this way and you go down to that building down the end of the stairwell and there's an elevator that takes you down into the cave and here's some of those photos we're in the elevator going down into sea lion caves Hello. we're with danger russ and his crew <laughs> and we're with the uh, deer whisperer here who literally speaks with the deer and knows what they're saying. And this, there's the parrot king over here, trainer. Trainer. God, YouTubers. She's been she's been plugging your channel on my intro. Folks, if you get a chance, check our friend's YouTube channel out at Dangerous. Going down in the cave now. Sea Line Caves. Oh, that changes. I remember when we were here as a kid and it was like this. My dad took me to I don't really remember this spot walking through. This is the caves. They're not in here right now, but this is what the caves look like. No sea lion.
So we got this little exhibit area. It's pretty cool here. A sea lion skeleton. fishing in the reserve, but allows some crabbing and salmon fishing in the seabird and marine protected areas. This conservation effort allows the natural abundance to support the area's mammals, birds, and other sea life. This abundance is the result of the nutrients that wind and currents bring to the waters along our coast. The California current is a true ecological driver for the Pacific Ocean. The nutrients feed single-celled plants and animals, which in turn are eaten by small fish, shrimp, crab, and other animals. These in turn feed the bigger fish, birds, sea lions, and whales you can see here. Two species of sea lions use the caves. The larger and most common is the Morton, or stellar sea lion. California sea lions can also be sparked. Both species use the cave for shelter in the colder months, and in the spring and summer, move outside to the rock ledges below the Sea Lion Cave's lookout. This area, called the Rookery, is where they breed and tend to the young pups. It's a boisterous place. Large bulls, some the size of a compact car, can be seen posturing to intimidate younger males. But sea lions are far from the only attraction. Well, folks, why don't you say we go outside and look at some live sea lions? Okay, we just came out of the elevator. Okay, so we're going up, back up the hill. Well, go to Gold Beach, huh? Here we are, sea lion cave. All masked up. We're gonna go down in the cave, but they're this time of year I guess they're outside. That's where we just Shot the video over there. Oh, oh the fly. Oh, 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 bird flying or? <coughs> Look at their pods. Uh, fly fish. Look at the fly fish. Life is a bird. No, folks, my wife's not on drugs. In the Philippines, there really is such a thing as flying fish, and they're pretty common there. I had to let her know that we don't have them here.
They're not in the cave, they're all out on the cliffs. Oh, there's some swimming there too, tree pods. Well, it looks oh, like we're not going to see any wells today. Too Maybe too next time. Here at Every Bit Outdoors YouTube channel, we promote outdoor family adventure and fun. We make these outdoor adventure trips for you before you decide if you want to go. Please subscribe to our channel and like our videos if you enjoy them so we can keep bringing our vacation, travel, and family adventure ideas to you. Thank you very much.